Okay, so it's the middle of March right now, and I have not caught a daggum bass all year long. Uh, if you've been around the south, you know the fishing's been tough. It's been raining a lot. Uh, I've had a lot of cold weather. Um, the fish are spawning right now. I, I don't have an excuse not to catch one. It's a nice sunny day. I'm excited. I think today is going to be the day. I've only been fishing this year uh, maybe three or four times. I've only had two bites. So it's been tough, but I feel like they're really going to bite today. So let's get out there and get after them. Okay, let's get started by throwing this yum dinger here. They're on the beds right now, so I'm going to fish it real slow, try to get it in the bed and see if I can get them angry. Get them to bite it. Oh my gosh, there's one right here on the bank. I just saw them spawning. Right here on this bed. It looked like a good sized one too. See if I can toss over there at him. Just gonna let it sit here and kind of bump it up and down, see if they'll take it. Had a bump. Come on, take it. Take it good. He dropped it, he didn't want it very much. A lot of times this time of the year they won't really eat it. They'll just be sitting on the bed and whenever it gets close to the bed, they'll just kind of hit it real quick and carry it off the bed. They're so close to me right now, I can literally see them moving. That was a bad idea. Threw right into the wind. Got a little bit of a backlash. Not bad though. Yeah, you really have to be careful throwing a bait caster into the wind. Unless you're fishing something really heavy, there's a good chance you're going to backlash. Oh my god, this turtle is huge over here. Just had a nibble. Come on, pick it back up. Oh man, standing in an ant bed. Good thing I got my boots on. I'm kind of surprised they don't want the yum dinger, but I'm gonna switch over to a Texas rig rage crawl and see if they'll bite that. I actually caught my personal best on this last year at 611 out of this pond. Let's see if I can get them to bite it again this year. I didn't have a weight on it last year. I was just kind of playing around and threw it weightless and it sunk really slow. And I caught it maybe 10, 15 foot off the bank just as soon as it sunk. Come on, seriously? Stuck on a stick right there? I have this thing Texas rig too, so it should not get stuck that easy. There we go. Bury the hook a little bit in there. I think it was, I think the hook was just sticking out a little too far. I usually keep them skin hooked so it's easy to hook the fish, but sometimes it'll slip out of there. I know that they're on the bank. I've just got to find what they want. And they may be too worried about spawning right now to worry about eating. Surely there's something that'll make them mad enough to snap at it. I'm going to swamp off the Texas rig, go for maybe a, a fluke, super fluke. I feel like with this weight, it's just dragging the bottom and getting in the grass. There's a lot of moss over here. Yeah, fishing any kind of white bait during the spawn is really good if you can see the beds because a lot of times you can't see the fish, but you can see the bait disappear. But unfortunately, this water is so muddy, I can't see really much of anything. 
so it's not as good and not as good for me in this situation but I'm really surprised I can't get him to bite the super flute. I'll try to switch into a different creature bait now. I think I'm gonna throw a green pumpkin. Oh, uh, what do you call those things? Baby brush hog. Oh, I just saw a good one jump over there by this culprit. They've been pretty active on the top water. Maybe I need to swap to a frog in a little bit. to stay off these fish on the bank like this because if you get too close you'll spook them so if you can you want to stay back and throw at them from a distance this is absolutely crazy i can't believe i haven't called anything yet I felt like something was nibbled on it but it felt really small like a little brim okay let me throw a frog on for a minute See if they'll touch that. Let me try the other side of the pond. Maybe I can get a bite over here. Howdy. We don't like anybody coming over here on our property. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's okay. Yeah, I'll go back over there. I won't this, be back over here. Yeah, I have an uncle or something. That's my uh, wife's grandma and uh, grandpa. Yeah, because I see your truck all the time. Yeah. So it's familiar. Okay, well, I'm sorry about right. that. That's okay. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, don't have a lot of daylight left. I'm going to swap to a little darker Cinco and see if they'll want a piece of that. Still can't believe how tough the bite's been today. Well... I still can't believe it. I thought today would be the day I finally caught a fish. It was crazy. It doesn't make any sense. I saw them, you know, all over the bank. They were spawning. I knew exactly where they were going to be. Uh, just couldn't get them to bite anything. I threw just about everything that I could think of that works good this time of year at them, and they just will not bite. Um, maybe they were just too busy spawning to worry about eating, or maybe it wasn't the right time of the day. But um, I'm going to catch one soon. I know it because of the coronavirus and me working for the school system. I'm, I'm off for probably at least the next three weeks. So I have to catch one uh, during that time. And I'm going to keep going back and everybody stay safe out there. Catch you next time.